Okay, in this lecture, what we're going to do is actually displaying something within the app screen, okay? And we're going to do it really quickly and the easy way. So go to Xcode inside of my first app and I want you to be in the groups and files right here and click on the viewcontroller.swift file, okay? And as you can see, this has some code, okay? So we can actually create um, text and display things through the code or what we can do is use the storyboard, which is basically the user interface. Now, you can do a lot more through the code, but you don't always have to use the code. What you can do is use the main.storyboard to actually um, display things on the screen. So as you can see here, there's this thing that popped up. Um, now, this is a user interface. What I'm going to do is show you that you can actually move windows around. So as you can see on the top right corner, I can remove this panel, which is a groups and file panel. Okay, as you can see, gone. And I can do the same for the one on the right. Okay, and the one on the bottom. Okay, so that's there's more screen space. And as you can see, it says view controller. And what you see here, right here, if you click on it, this is actually the screen that you see when you run the app. Okay. So um, again, if I run the app, so I'm about to run it right now, what you see is this screen. As you can see, it's white and it doesn't do anything. And this is the exact same thing that you see on the simulator. Okay, so right now the simulator is running. It's right here. Okay, so let it load. It's going to take about uh, 10 seconds or so. Okay, and as you will see, what you get here is what you get there. Okay, so please bear with me. All right, it's about to launch. And there it is. As you can see, it's just a white screen. Um, this is, you know, the, the fact that you have career and the, and the time and the battery, that's because it's simulating a real phone, but you can actually remove that, but don't worry about it. Um, that's not part of the actual application. That's the uh, operating system on top of it. But as you can see, it's just a blank screen. So I want you to show you uh, I want to show you that you can actually easily add um, elements and controls in this um, window. So what I want you to do is click here and to make sure that it's selected like a blue like that. And right here under the object model of the library. So if you don't see that, you can always go to window and look for the library. Okay. All right. So you can always bring windows here. Okay. Bring all to front. Okay. That's one way. And right here, I want you to click on the search right there and look for label. Okay. If you look for label, you see a label. And what it is? It's a variably sized amount of static text. Okay. So we want to display some text. We're going to drag and drop this label right here. Okay. To the center of the screen. Now, do you guys see those blue dotted lines? That means that it's centered to the screen. Um, vertically and if I move down it's going to be centered to the screen horizontally all right so it's centered horizontally and vertically okay right there okay so now there's like edges on the side you can just drag and drop those edges to make the text bigger okay and if you click right here under uh, the attributes okay show the attributes inspector okay you can change the text here by clicking on the label text, click on delete to remove it and type hello world. Okay. And press enter. Okay. And as you can see, it says hello world. So once you do that, I want you to click on run. Okay. That play button. So now it's going to take this um, label and actually now display it in the iOS simulator. Okay, so as you can see, the app is running and we see the hello world right there. Okay, so far so good. Everything is working as expected. Now, what you can also do is play with the colors of this label. You can just come back here to the attributes tab and change the color by clicking here and choosing one of those colors or right here or click on other and pick any of the millions of colors that are available to you right here. Okay. You can go to the white. Okay. So as you can see, I'm moving to the white and I'm going to select, so let's say some kind of a orange color. All right. 
and if I click on the cross, you see that the color actually changed. Now you can also change the font by clicking right here on the font, and I'm going to take a custom font, and I'm going to use one of those font families. I'm going to go ahead and take um, a comic font, which would be, uh, let's say, the chalkboard SE. Okay, that's a pretty nice font that I like. Okay, and I'm going to make this bigger by dragging the inset. Okay, as you can see, I'm just dragging the side and make it bigger. And I'm going to increase the font size by clicking on this right here. Okay, so the arrows right here increase the size of the font. All right, you can also center it. Okay, and uh, as you can see, it's just too the font is just too big to show in the in the label uh, area so what you have to do is just drag a corner to make it bigger okay and as you can see now the whole text appears now if you press play again this will take your changes into account and will run with your changes all right as you can see there it is now obviously you can do even better than this what you can do is work on the um, and, and add more labels instead of just one label I can just drag and drop and add another label right here okay there we go we have another label and I can write anything I want here okay and again second label all right now another way to create label would be to select this label um, press the alt key or option key on your keyboard okay alt or option is the same key okay uh, leave the key down and start drag and dropping it okay and as you can see once you do that you see the green plus sign that means that it's about to create another instance of it now uh, let your mouse go and now you have a new um, a new label now I'm gonna press play and we are about to see our changes all right as you can see we have the hello world twice Okay, so that's it for this lecture and uh, you guys can keep playing with the colors and the, the font sizes and move the icon, move the labels around and I'll see you guys in the next lecture.